Attracting a man. And what it takes 16 powerful ways to attract men. What is it that those kind of women are doing that makes them so irresistible? Well, in this video I will take you through some of the most common and universally applicable things you can do to make yourself more attractive to men and attract the man you want. You might or might not be surprised to know that a lot of has to do with your internal mental state. Your internal mental state is what comes across as your vibe and overall persona that you give off to men. When you are in a bad mood, for example, even if you pretend not to be, it comes across to him. This leads me to the first mindset that you need to know to attract men. How your mindset will attract the men you want. 1. Manage your mood. Making your mood a priority is going to be a huge win for you when it comes to being more attractive. Why? Men are instinctively attracted to happy women. When you are in a good mood, he feels this pleasant vibe when he is around you. Men can sense your vibe and you don't have to say anything to make it come across, in fact, the less you try to prove what a good mood you are in and the more you focus on actually being in a good mood, the better off you will be. 2. Have fun. Do things you enjoy. Take the time out to do fun things in your life where you can let loose and really laugh and have fun with things. Whether it's going out with friends and having a good time or spending time with family and living life in a happy, fun way. Experience life in the moment and don't dwell on trivial things that don't matter. If you genuinely have fun and are happy, this automatically makes you more attractive to men. Men are attracted to happy women who can laugh a lot and are happy. Don't fake it, this comes off as fake and won't be attractive. 3. Don't compare yourself to other women. I understand the instinct to compare yourself to other women and to other people in general. Maybe you see another woman and you think to yourself, if only I had this and that or whatever it is that you wish you could change about yourself that she has. The reason I am saying to you this is because when you compare yourself, all you do is make yourself feel miserable and frustrated. The best thing to do is be your best self and focus on things you can control and improve upon. This will make you feel good. 4. Do what feels comfortable. You might have heard that wearing a wacky outfit, getting a strange sex toy contraption or doing some super sensual and risque is the only way to attract a man. Forget all of this. Trying to do things that you are completely uncomfortable with because you think it will attract a man is a horrible idea because you will not be comfortable. Being comfortable is essential when it comes to being attractive to a man. If you are comfortable, you will find that everything you do is naturally and effortlessly more attractive to men. So don't think that you have to do anything that makes you feel awkward and unnatural because it won't help you anyway. 5. Know yourself. Self-discovery is an ongoing process that we all go through in our lives. We are always growing and changing as people. This is an important step when it comes to being attractive, get to know yourself as much as you can and this will automatically make you feel more confident and comfortable. What I mean by know yourself is know your strengths and weaknesses and be able to identify what you are good at and what you aren't naturally good at. These mindsets are going to automatically make you more attractive to men. How your appearance will attract the men you want. Obviously physical appearance is a topic that has to be addressed when it comes to making a man attracted to you. It's a fact of life, men and human beings are visual creatures. There are certain things a man is going to respond to whether he wants to or not. I'm only giving you this information to help you, not to offend or be rude, so please. 6. Makeup. Every man has different preferences when it comes to makeup, but there is a consistent theme with what most men seem to find attractive. I have seen women wearing those huge fake eyelashes for example and then a ton of fake tanner on and so much makeup it was obvious from a mile away, and I suppose some men do find this hot but most would prefer a little bit less. With that said, a good application of makeup can certainly transform a woman's look so definitely don't be afraid to put on makeup. 7. Fitness and diet. This is a very sensitive topic and I don't want anyone to get offended and say that I am trying to say all women have to be skinny. This is not true at all. All I am saying is that being as fit as you possibly can and making healthy eating choices but not starving is the key to looking your best. Listen to your body don't try to look how you naturally can't look without having to starve or be unhealthy. This is key. Healthy is hot. 8. Clothing. 
Clothing can make a big difference when it comes to being attractive to men. Now, the main thing is that you wear clothes that fit your body well and accentuate your best assets. Now I am not saying to go out in stripper heels and a non-existent dress that shows almost your entire body. Unless this is what you like and it makes you feel good, but don't do that because you think it's going to make men more attracted to you. To be honest, being too skimpy to a point of absurdity when you first meet a man actually might be a turn off to some men. The ideal way to dress is a combination of sexy and leaving something to the imagination. But most importantly find clothing that fits your body well and makes you feel good. 9. Hair. Every man has different preferences when it comes to hair and in general all you really need to focus on is that you feel good about it. Whether it's a simple, layered medium length cut or long hair or shorter hair. The point is that you feel good and make an effort when it comes to doing your hair. 10. Smell. Perfume is actually something that a lot of women overdo. Most men do not like very strong perfume. You're better off sticking with something very light and being very conservative with how much you spray. Being clean is obviously important and goes without saying in terms of smelling good, drenching yourself in perfume is not. One thing most men agree upon is that women's hair normally smells amazing from all the shampoo products and stuff. The point is less is more. 11. Hair, down there. Now this is a very individual preference type of situation. You really only need to focus on taking care of this part of your body in terms of hair and do something. Unless you are going to keep all your hair rarer these days but again this is a total individual preference and there are some guys who do like this so if there's a man who you know likes this go for it. I would say in general, though, trimming at the very least is a good idea. There's a lot of debate about being completely bare or being mostly bare and having a landing strip. You can do a bunch of different fun things with this. And another benefit, in addition to men finding it hot, is that you will feel sexy knowing you are groomed, down there. It's just as much for you to feel sexy as it is for him to find you sexy. Some really blunt, and explicit, tips to attract the men you want. These are going to be extremely honest and uncensored, but are designed to give you the raw truth and to help you out as much as possible. The key to most of these is that you are comfortable. If you are not comfortable then there is no point in doing any of these things. If you are, though, it will come off as extremely sexy. Being comfortable is sexy. 12. Touch yourself in front of him and let him watch. It would be extremely difficult to find a man who does not find this to be an insane turn on. I won't really go into this further but I think what I said speaks for itself. Do it in the way that feels comfortable for you and only if it feels comfortable. 13. Be a lady in the streets and a freak. In the sheets. Yes. I actually just wrote this cliché. I can't believe I am even writing it but it's such a concise way to describe one of the most attractive things to most men, a woman who is presentable in one way when she's interacting with the world but behind closed doors brings out an entirely different wild, sexual side. Being able to truly let go in the bedroom is going to make it so much more fun for both you and him. Holding back out of fear of being judged and being awkward will only do a disservice to both you and him. I realize this may not be comfortable for you, but if you take baby steps and find a way to get truly comfortable, letting go, you will notice how much this turns a man on. Do what feels natural, not what you think you are supposed to do. 14. Make your pleasure a priority too. This is important. Some people only care about their own pleasure and others only care about the other person's pleasure. What's the most attractive way to focus on pleasure? Focus on both your pleasure and his. Make your own pleasure a priority without ignoring the fact that you want him to feel satisfied at the same time. Ignoring your pleasure is going to do you a disservice because not only will you be missing out on an insane amount of good feelings, but you will lose the opportunity to turn him on. Most men are turned on when they can make a woman feel genuine pleasure. And do not fake it because most men can tell. 15. Tease him. This one is a bit tricky because there is a fine line between good teasing that drives a man crazy in a good way and bad teasing that makes a man frustrated and annoyed. If you are into him and feel sexually attracted to him, let the attraction build up by touching him gently throughout your interactions with him. Start with innocent touches and be very nonchalant and natural when you do it. 
For example, if you are sitting next to each other, you could kind of inch a tiny bit closer to him and have your leg against his leg and don't say a word about it, just enjoy the moment. Or you could casually touch his thigh, as if it's the most normal thing in the world. 16. Don't be afraid to be yourself. When it comes to being attractive to men, all women are different in terms of what makes them uniquely attractive. Some women are more innocent and cutesy, others more seductive and intense, others a combination of all these, some are more outgoing and expressive, others are more shy and want a man to take control. Some women are completely unafraid to take control and others like to be dominated. The point is to find what you feel comfortable with and realize that some men will be extremely attracted to you and these particular aspects of your personality. There is no use trying to be different than how you naturally are, because this is what men find most attractive, a woman who is being genuine and true to herself, her desires and her instincts. So there you have it. Here is how to attract and be attractive to a man. I hope it helps. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe button, and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions please drop me a comment below this video, to let me know what you would like to see next, plus send me an email if you have any question by clicking the link below this video in the description, and I will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible. To learn more about how to attract men and advanced seductive techniques men cannot resist, just click the link below in the description below this video and I would love to help you, so go ahead, and do it now.